Hello everyone, this is Anupam and welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to install all new vCenter. ESXi is very much straightforward like the previous version, so we'll start directly with the vCenter and followed by with the VRAA.1. So without wasting much time, let's hop into our video. Guys, even I'm doing the vCenter 7.0 installation for very first time. So it's as new as you guys so let's go to the disk which we have already mounted for installing our vCenter it's pretty much the same go to UI installer win32 and let me scroll down there is an installer we'll click on installer and a windows pop up uh, this looks pretty much the same what we had for the previous version on the top it says vCenter server 7.0 installer you have four options install upgrade migrate and restore we will do all these things uh, part by part um, and check all these options but for now we are just going to go ahead with the vCenter installation so let's go ahead and click on install it again has a two stage quite similar to the previous one stage one and stage two stage one is more like deploying your appliance let's click next accept the eula let's click on next specify the esxi host where you want to do the installation as well as the port number pretty much it is already given i'll provide my username and the password let me click next and the certificate warning i'll accept it as yes i'll provide the vcenter name it's like just the name which will be outside what will be the name of a virtual machine followed by the root password let's reprovide the same password okay something wrong let me retype my password in my case uh, i'm gonna use uh, any of like tiny or small based on the your requirement in my case it's very very small i don't have much virtual machine but still i'm gonna choose small and or let me choose tiny i think that make more sense because i'm going to save my cpu and ram let's click next we will select for the disk available and it will thin disk mode let's click next provide all the necessary information what's the ip was you're going to use what is going to be your fqdn provide the fqdn whatever you have done the dns entries of make sure your dns entries are done in advance not during the installation otherwise uh, your setup might uh, fall into trouble when it, in second step when it is trying to resolve the name with the dns and you might face a problem with that let me do an ns lookup and validate that if it's working yes looks good and this is what my ip is 0 0.149 my subnet is right my gateway I'm gonna put 0 0.1 my dns server and everything looks good so let's click next you can go to the review page review everything everything looks good then click on finish so i am just gonna stop the video right now and i'll go jump directly to the section where my installation is finished i'll not take much time of you so guys it took somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes uh, depend upon the performance of your system my setup is about to finish and here it's done my stage 1 vcenter deployment is done now we have to go ahead with the stage 2 deployment to do so let's click on continue let the page 2 load it may take a while to load up for the second stage installation Yes, here is a stage 2 let's click on next I'm just disabled my uh, ESXi access uh, it's disabled I just enabled it yes it's enabled and I'm using my NTP as my source host you can modify based on your requirement which is your host in the single sign-on will provide domain name as marvel.local that's what the, i have choose to have it you can have your own sso domain 
single line, single sign on password will provide you have seen pretty much i keep a very standard password so that i don't have to remember across multiple application i have a lot of things running all together i don't want to remember we are not going to join vmware experience improvement program at this point of time let's click on next just review everything whatever information you have provided once you have cross checked everything just click on finish and your installation for the stage 2 begins guys i'm going to pause the video and directly jump into the section where my installation is completed and here we are with my stage 2 complete you can see my stage 2 is complete and below is a url you have to click the below url to directly log into your vcenter let's click on proceed now you can have a look uh, vspare 7.0 is only having html5 based not the previous one on the right hand section you have a lot of different options for rest apis browsing your data stores or for the vspare inventory on the left you have vSphere documentation center you can even click that for more information let's not waste our time and click on our html5 let the page to load since it's loading for a very first time post my installation it might take a while to come up and you can see on the top a pop-up let's click open and provide my information administrator at the rate marvel.local and we will provide the password okay i suppose yep i think let me copy paste the password to make sure that we are not doing anything wrong oh ah my bad my bad guys i have put i have to put at the rate here okay let me click on login now i'm sure it's gonna log in this time Yes, I have logged into my vCenter. Now, uh, this is pretty much, you can have a same feel of what we had 6.7. There are definitely a lot of new features with Kubernetes integration and all that require a separate license. Maybe I'll cover those ones on a separate video. Let me right click on it and create a new data center. Whatever information you want to provide. In my case, I'll just write Dubai because I, I'm staying in Dubai. Let me create a new cluster. It's gonna be infra. Now let's add the ESX host. At this point of time, I have two ESXi hosts. I'll provide the both the ESXi host option at the same time. I'm happy uh, in a very older versions, you know, you don't have an option to add multiple hosts. At least we have a tab. Let's provide it's 147, another is 192.168.0.148. We'll use that as a second host. Username and password is same across the multiple hosts for me. password click on next so you'll get the certificate we'll click on the certificate for both of them warning yes let's click next so this warning is because there is an already vm running on that so just giving me a warning and the one is pretty much empty i'll click finish now what happens is once the host is added where vm was running it won't be into maintenance mode but the other host which it adds which in which there are no VMs running, it will be in a maintenance mode. Guys, for now, I'll wrap up this video. In the next video, we are going to see much more integration of vCenter. I'm going to integrate with Active Directory. I'm going to empower with the transmission control. I'll explore more on 
down the line video series and what's new on vSphere 7.0 followed out by so many other videos with VRA, vCloud Director and NSXT uh, pretty much I'm doing NSXT 2.5 at this point of time don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching have a great day